Now, which one more boys and girls? In this video, I will show you how to edit like by maximize in Premiere Pro. So let me add a video into the channel line. Under effect controls, opacity, select the spin tool. So create a mask like this. Now I'm going to create a copy of this video by holding Alt key or Option key and drag it on top. Let me delete the mask from the bottom video. Using Type tool, I'm going to add a test. Place this test slot in between these two view layers. Under Shape, check Fill, Stroke and Shadow. Add another test over here. Now go back to the new item. Sequence, Horizontal 1080 and Vertical 9020. Add an image. I create this image using Photoshop. Add this first video sequence in timeline. I just scale and position. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test over here. Double click on the sequence and adjust the test layer. If your character is moving, make sure to set keyframe for mask path and go each frames and adjust the mask path. Let me cut or delete the unwanted portions. Now I'm going to add some videos. Go 10 or 50 frames and cut it. At the end, copy this nest sequence and this background image and paste it over here. I will set a keyframe for position. Go few frames forward, position all the way to the left. Place the playhead at the middle and position slightly down. Using type tool, I am going to add some test. For the second test, I increase the scale size a little bit. For the third test, I increase the scale size a little bit more. Go to effects and add right on. So let me adjust the brush size. Set keyframe for brush, position, go few frames forward, position to the right. Stroke length 0, brush spacing 0. Let me add another test. I will change the blend mode of this test to overlay. I want more details from this test. So for that, I am going to create a copy of this test and place it on top. Let me change the test blend mode to overlay. Go to effects and add Gaussian blur to this test. Set keyframe for blurriness. Go few press forward and blurriness 400. For this test layer, I will add this rectangle mask under this test layer. 
set keyframe for mask path. Go keyframes forward and place the mask to the right. Yeah, and that's all your boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos, and I will see you on my next video.